This week, I wanted to make people smile. And what better way to do it than taking their picture? I found my old Polaroid camera and decided to put it back to good use. The plan was relatively easy. Get some film, call Amit, my friend and cameraman, set a date, pray for good weather. Easy. So I called Amit, set a date, prayed the best I could and then waited until the last moment to do everything else. I do it sometimes and then pay the price. You see, I have an old 95 vision camera from Polaroid. I like it very much, but it is so old that it is really hard to get filmed for it, especially if you're planning to shoot tomorrow. So after visiting a couple of photoshops, I was about to give up. And then a good one came along. This is Klaus from the Photoshop. I've never met him before in my life. But when I told him that I will not be able to shoot tomorrow, he said, no problem, and lent me his camera for the day. And as simple as that, everything was ready. No, you might laugh, but I felt like a butterfly. I had one day to take as many Polaroids as I wanted. Yeah. 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 This is wie Zauber. Uh, you don't know each other. You just met? Wow. Yeah. Now the best thing about looking for good stuff to shoot is that they are always there. Oh, you're so beautiful together. You should, you should get married. <laughs> you know, the funny thing was that they were standing here when you're coming and reading the sign where it says um, the best medicine. This and always will be loved. Yeah, and then you came. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you guys. For me, the magic of a Polaroid camera happens in the time you have to wait. It's like being a filmmaker at the Oscars public restrooms and realizing that the man standing next to you is Steven Spielberg. In the next 30 seconds, he cannot run away and that should be just enough time to connect. When you shoot a Polaroid, you have about a minute, a minute and a half, where you can truly feel the joy of anticipation. And as it turns out, it is also a great moment to connect. Yay! Perfect! And... Flashing! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> I, I love how it, how it uh, yeah. developed. Yeah. Es ist mein Enkelkind, das ist meine Tochter. Dann vielleicht brauchst du eine für dich auch. Sie ist ein Sonnenkind, weißt du. Ich kann viel mit ihr lachen. Ja. Und, ja. Ja, das einfach, brauchst du auch. Das brauche ich, genau. Können ja. wir vielleicht ein Bild von uns zwei nehmen? Natürlich. Ja, das wäre super. I had a fortune of meeting a lot of wonderful people that day. We all shared a brief moment together, but there was one moment that made the most impact on me. Take it out. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Yes. Yay! <laughs> Best photo ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. I needed it's that nice. today. Did you hear that? Let me play it back for you. <laughs> Thanks, man. I needed it's that nice. today. I needed that I needed that today. Oh, like that made me think about the butterfly effect. I presume most of you already heard about the butterfly effect. It is well known as the idea that a butterfly flapping its wings in one part of the world may ultimately create a storm on another part of it. It is a property of chaotic systems by which small changes can lead to large-scale variations in the future state of the system. Or in simpler words, it is just one small thing that makes a small change that eventually creates big changes in the whole system. It is a salesman giving a camera to a complete stranger just so that he could shoot other strangers and by doing that, making a difference in somebody else's life. And as small as this difference was, it was there 
And who knows, it might go on jumping from one man to another and continue making differences in other people's lives as well. On the next day, I had just one picture left. And that picture was meant for someone special. So let me offer you a challenge. Give yourself one week and try to do at least one small act of kindness a day. It can be giving away your turn at the groceries line for someone with less stuff or just opening the door for someone. I know that you will feel good afterwards and I believe that this small act of kindness will grow on to be something great. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please consider subscribing. And until we meet again, look for the good ones.